So you have the water here, you have a crack right here. It's a great place for these ants to get into the house. This is the season, says James DeBerry. After all the April rain, house ants are heading inside looking for food and shelter. But you won't find any in Jill Maddenberg's kitchen. I had a little bit of an ant problem. He treated it once, it never came back. Jill uses only natural insecticides because she's concerned about protecting her family and the beneficial insects on her property. While Jill's house is bug free, these odorous ants are showing up in many Long Island kitchens, including my own. Jim says the first step is to cut out as many food sources as possible. What ants do is they'll mark that food source with a pheromone and then he sends that back to the other ants in the colony. And now everybody knows that there's free food at Mary's house. In addition to silicone, Jim's toolbox contains sprays and baits made of natural insecticides, including boric acid, neem oil, and diatomaceous earth. Of course you can do it yourself. In fact, some of the natural pesticides in Jim's toolbox are readily available. But he says the best tool is knowledge. It's really about the know-how. A lot of time I'm able to come with a small shovel and dig up a nest and remove the whole nest without using any type of products or chemicals. Jim says natural pesticides don't always provide immediate results, and they're safe only in the hands of an expert. In Great Neck, I'm Mary Musi, News 12, Long Island.